In Hastings Manufacturing, we know piston rings, and we want to pass this knowledge on to you. In this video, we're going to cover the installation of the compression rings. While the compression rings might appear similar to other rings, they are subtle design differences, which indicate how the ring is to be installed. Not only must the ring be installed with the correct side towards the top of the piston, it is also imperative that the ring be installed in the proper groove. Rings installed in the wrong groove or the wrong side up may lead to excessive oil pumping, excessive blow-by, and in some cases, may completely dry up the bore. Costing ring and cylinder scuffing as well as accelerated wear. When you open the box, you will see that each section is marked with a one, a two, or a three. For the compression rings, these will be in slots one and two. Lay the rings out in groups of top and second rings. With the oil control rings loaded on the piston, use a proper ring installation tool to open the second groove rings with the top mark facing up. Only open the ring enough to allow it to go over the top diameter of the piston. Work the open ring down from the top of the piston to the second groove. Place the ring squarely into the piston groove, making sure to keep it flat. Release the tension of the ring installer tool. The ring is now installed. The same process is done for the top rings. However, make sure you never spiral a compression ring into a piston. If a ring is bent, it offers a leakage path for both blow-by and oil. Once the piston rings are installed on the piston, stagger the end gaps. It is important that the end gaps are not lined up. This prevents oil flow past the rings. Thanks for watching. We hope this video was helpful. Feel free to leave a comment and make sure to watch our other Tough Guy Tech Tip videos for more information.